Hey, Gregory, is it true you have a saucy secret? I, I, I actually don't know what you're talking about. Do you like to do your house chores in the nude? In episode two, Greg, he's got a bunch of lines in his head about this is how I stay neutral. I'm just an observer. I'm not a part of this necessarily. And it's also a way of you hedging your bets. What about the papers? I don't, I maybe don't even know what they are or where they came from. There's a nice agreement without it being like an obvious agreement. It's like, we're both gonna shut the hell up here, right? Fine, okay, well, we'll have to see if he buys that. The whole relationship is about like, what can I trade you? What can you trade yeah. me? Did you know that Shiv's over there? What are kennels? What is your fucking game? Why, what's yours? The episode itself came out of that question of why don't they go for Logan when it feels so possible? What are their choices? Uh, it's pretty simple. Let's gang up on Dad and take him down. Jesus, let me shut the door first. It's quite a alluring but quite a terrifying power for kids to have over their father. And as I thought about each character, they've all just got really good reasons to go for him, and they've all got reasons not to. Jesse writes in gray areas, so in a sense, we're all on our own in this family. And then in another sense, we're deeply connected and enmeshed. Where are you at? Just uh, hear him out and report. I think Roman is fully in Dad's court, because if we banded together and got rid of Dad, there's an uncertainty as to who's sort of in charge, and I will not work for my siblings. I could oversee us as CEO on paper as we shift to these spheres of influence and evaluate what is core as we move forward. So you'll oversee us. But it's all very complicated, because I feel for my brother there's still something there. Look, guys, he was going to send me to jail. But also, Shiv's got some sort of agenda. Shiv's kind of positioning long enough until you know what the greater mass is doing. If she's gonna like push him off course, I should be there too, because then we did it. Or if she's jumping ship, then I can report that and that's a win. Or I can jump ship too and it's win. It's all sorts of win. Win, 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 win. I think there's lots of ways for him to win. Dad sent donuts. What the fuck? I always like the feeling of language being so important in our arguments, but then there being bigger forces at work. Something as innocuous as donuts, it means so much. It means your children. He wants us all to have a nice tea party. He may not have even known about the donuts. He's gonna know. Of course he is. I think it's to do with making sure they're fed. <laughs> I think it's a caring gesture. They're in a little bit of a Garden of Eden, and it's a bit like the donuts are God saying, I see you there, and you're all naked, and you're all disgusting, and just being seen is enough to change how you feel very dramatically. How diabolical is that? Yeah. <laughs> Khan, stop looking at the fucking donuts, man. The old man is indestructible, and Kendall is just fragile. He's also volatile. Is it the goddamn donuts? Have you been spooked by fucking donuts? That's pathetic, Shiv. <laughs> but behind all anger is fear. You're a fucking prick. Oh, thanks for Good coming night. in person. Good night. I had expectations of things going a certain way for me. What? But we're a family that has a lot of conflict and tension. And if that has been part of your identity structure, I think there's a need for that opponent. I think I need to get back to the city. People need to see a little family unity.